Nigeria will rise again, I believe. I just want us to dedicate to put certain things straight. I witnessed an event that really touched my heart. And what was this event? A father and his son were working in a biscuit factory in our area. And this particular day, after they closed from work, the son came to me and said, Daddy, they were on the ship, same shift. I brought out from the factory these biscuits. He started bringing them you know, piece by piece, or should I say pack by pack, and they counted about 25 packs of this kit. You know what the father said? The father said, smart boy. The father to open this jacket and also counted out about 35 packs of this kit. How did they manage to get these biscuits? They stole it. They found a way to smuggle it out of the factory. Now, it got me thinking. This father celebrated his son for successfully stealing out of the factory 25 packs of biscuits. The same thing, the son celebrated the father who successfully smuggled out his own about 20 something packs. It got me thinking. Now, if we continue to treat the people and the places, that we work this way things will never grow in our country for nigeria to be great again i want everyone to begin to see his or herself as an example to the younger generation what legacies do we want to leave behind how do we hope to mentor the coming generation i know some of us are craving this generation of thieves should pass away. But do you know that the generations coming behind are even worse? The reason why I'm saying they are worse is because most of today's elders has taught them corrupt ways. Just like I said, the father congratulated the son and called him a very smart boy for successfully stealing packs of his kids from the country where they work. Beloved, I believe that Nigeria will be great again, but we must change this mentality. Every one of us at the front must begin to see those coming behind as mentees. Those we are to mentor that should take over from us. I want to ask, if we continue this way, what kind of a generation do we want to leave behind? Now, do we want to leave a generation of rogues behind? Do we want to leave a generation of hired assassins behind? What kind of generation do we want to do we want to leave behind? Let us come to the point where we begin to know that it is our responsibility to mentor the coming generation. I was studying and I saw, you know, I studied some leaders. And I saw the quote by the late Nelson Mandela. He said in his own days, he would usually follow his father's, his father to elders meeting. He said he will sit down, he will, he will watch how his father responded, he will watch how his father reacted, and he said he learned most of the leadership principles that helped him in life from the attitude of his father. Let me ask you before I summarize. What are you teaching the coming generation? Are you teaching them to be thieves? Now, if you teach them to steal, I want you to understand this fact. They will destroy their time and their, the, the generation coming behind will have nothing to leave. Nigeria will be great again. But we all should begin to mentor the coming generation rightly. If you believe that with me, let's take our pledge. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, 
to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory, so help me God.